Oh, wow. <laughs> Hey, what's going on, Applause Bootcamp? This is Mike Sneed coming to you uh, live. I happened to jump on real quick. Uh, I was over on uh, Tone Talks uh, a few minutes ago, uh, and that's kind of why I changed the actual title of the actual story that we're getting into. So I'll get into that in a little bit. But I want to thank everybody for joining us. Um, uh, the book, let me grab the book. Man, I'm over, over here running my mouth and debating. <laughs> I had a chance to do anything. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, man. Jesus Christ. <laughs> all right. Uh, the book. Thank you all for buying the book. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, it's doing well. Uh, uh, I, if you bought the book, uh, please, get, uh, after you read it, uh, give a review after you read it. Uh, and give me an honest review. Uh, go on um, Amazon. Give me an honest review after you, uh, after you read the book. Tell me what you think. Uh, uh, if you uh, let me get this stuff together, man. I tell you, uh, I, I gotta, uh, I gotta get my stuff together. <laughs> I got too much stuff going on. Uh, we got the hands-on live event coming up um, uh, on January the 20th. Um, these the 20th, the 21st, and the 22nd um, here down here in Selma. Uh, we also will have uh, the ice cream parlor business, um, the boot camp. That would be on January the 23rd. Uh, anybody want to come out, learn how to start their own appliance repair business, or want to know how to start their own ice cream parlor business, uh, we have that going on. Uh, right now, also, uh, we have uh, you can get in. We have payment plans if you want to make a payment plan for the online, and we have finance and also if you want to finance um, how to uh, finance the actual uh, hands-on live event. Also, we're gonna have our national convention. On June uh, 15th, 16th, um, I'm going to be reaching out to uh, all the people after the holidays. I'm in Santa Claus mode right now, so it's going to be after the holidays uh, before uh, before I uh, I get going. Um, so, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and jump into it while it's still fresh in my mind. Um, I, don't, I don't know if people, uh, if you all, y'all, I know pretty much everybody probably know Tone Talks, uh, Tone in the event Carnell, they do a lot of uh, great work um, with ADOS and stuff. They they kind of they kind of uh, structured the uh, uh, the framework for ADOS, and they do a lot of great work. Um, but sometimes uh, they they a, a lot of times uh, I think it's, it's, it can be some some stuff. Um, uh, it's not where. It, Hold on a second. Let me turn this off. I got my cell phone thing going on. Uh, what's going on here? Give me a second. I need to turn this right here off. Uh, man, I'll tell you, I got everything happening at the same time. Give me a second. Oh, there we go. All right. So anyway, uh, I... I uh, Tone Talk, they, they do a lot of stuff. They, like I say, great work Kim and uh, Yvette Carnell does. Uh, they give a lot of great data uh, out uh, from stuff that they do. Uh, really respect it. Uh, but from time to time, uh, sometimes I think it can be a, a little, uh, 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 can sometimes get into a pity party. But it, it really is, We are, I, I've said it many times in African Americans, we really are struggling. We really are struggling out there. Uh, but there, there are ways where you don't have to struggle. And so I kind of called into his show earlier tonight. They're talking about um, uh, who's going to be able to pay for cars for their kids, saying nobody's going to be able to pay for pay car, pay for kids to have cars. Um, so I called in and told them, you know, I, I've paid cash for, for all my uh, uh, my two kids. Uh, I paid cash for two of my kids' for, uh, cars. My oldest daughter, um, her mom um, paid for her car. Um, so. But they said, uh, who's going to pay for their kids' college? And I was like, uh, well, uh, I've, I've paid for, for uh, all three of my kids' uh, college. I paid for my daughter's master's degree, um, um, paid for uh, my wife's master's degree, paid for uh, my daughter's. Uh, I'm paying for my daughter's right now. Um, so uh, <laughs> so uh, I'm saying you can't do it. And... Um, and they, I, I, I was called a unicorn. <laughs> I was a unicorn, and I, maybe I got it. I didn't get a chance to really tell how I was able to do it. It didn't get asked to me how I was able to do it. 
Um, but they, they, they just automatically assumed I was ignoring that I had some type of large inheritance. And, and they said, what well, I, I got in right, uh, you know, I was able to do it. You know, the last card I bought for my kids was five years ago. And that was five years ago. But granted, like I told them, I just bought a van last year. So uh, it, it, it didn't, uh, it, uh, 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 it didn't, it didn't, uh, it didn't, uh, it, it, I, I'm still doing it. And I've been doing this since I was about 30 years old. And uh, also what we had earlier uh, this week, we, we, we were having a uh, conversation. Uh, I was with uh, uh, some of the locals uh, here uh, and, um, and, uh, and some of the business owners here uh, locally. And we were talking about uh, uh, African-American community here in Selma, North Carolina. And uh, they were trying to tell me people can't afford to pay ten, fifteen dollars for actual uh, lunch. Uh, they come out for lunch. Uh, people don't can't afford to buy cars and and all of this doom and gloom. And so I wanted to come to. That's why I switched it tonight because uh, I didn't know if people were going to come over from there. They want to know how this guy able to do this. Uh, so I want to tell you tonight how you can easily make. <laughs> Uh, how you can easily make $90,000 without leaving your house. And I've done this for the last uh, probably 15 years. Um, I've done this for the last 15 years. Um, it works. Uh, it, it's real easy. Uh, if you uh, if you follow the Appliance Boot Camp and follow, uh, follow our blueprint, this is how I teach you how to do it. You can make $90,000 and don't have to leave your house. Um, you don't you don't even have to uh, wash your face or anything. As long as you need, all you need to do is walk over to your computer. Uh, so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna what we call. Uh, let me see if I can pull this up for you real quick. Um, let me see. This this will give me. Uh, I don't know if I can. Get a screen up here. Uh, we'll, we'll just share this. Uh, we'll just do the calculator. Uh, you all are smart, so I'll let, uh, we'll just do the calculator. And these, what I'm going to give you, are, uh, are real numbers. This is not. Uh, is not. Uh, is not something that I'm just uh, making up. It's just uh, it's making you uh, making up some aspiration. You all know these are real numbers, and this this is very doable. All right, so let's just say um, uh, once you get your appliance repair business up and running, and uh, and you you you're, you're now going to train and get you a sub. Uh, get you one sub. Oh, you're going to do it with one sub. Uh, this, all you all you need is about one sub. All right, so you're going to get you one sub, and this is not even we're going to use the bare minimum of you using third party warranty companies. So with one sub, one sub should be able to do five stops a day. Uh, if you schedule them, you schedule them the routes correct. You do a stop at 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, one o'clock, two o'clock, and three o'clock. So that give you five stops for that uh, technician to go out there and uh, repair a plaza. So, and this we ain't counting no first call completion or anything. You got five stops. Uh, so every time, if you follow my blueprint, you get $125. You get $125 to go diagnose, and then you get $125 to go put the part on. So we're going to come here. He's going to do five stops, and we're going to multiply that times 125. All right? So he's making you $625 uh, per day. Okay? But also we're paying him $50 per stop. So every time he goes out there, we got to give him $50, all right? So if he go diagnose, that's $50. When he go put the part on, it's $50. So out of this $625, we got to subtract his pay. So he got $625 is what he makes us. Now we're going to subtract, uh, we got $50 times five, 250. So we're going to take that 625 that he makes, 625, and we're gonna minus the 250. So you you profiting in your pocket $375 um, per day. You're gonna say, what about the gas and all that? If you follow my blueprint, the way I tell you to do it, 
you purchase the van, give them the van, and you let them put their own gas in. You let them use use your van and stuff to go do other stuff that they want to do, run their car. You don't care. You want him in that little van, and you can go buy a van for four thousand. Um, like I was telling Tony now, if you buy you buy a van for eight thousand, just say you buy a van, or just spend you're gonna spend eight thousand, but that van uh, uh, is gonna make you uh, gonna make you ninety thousand or whatever. So you will spend eight thousand about every two years. The van uh, with them running lasts about two to three years. So uh, just know you're gonna um, it's gonna cost you somewhere about three thousand per year uh, to to you have to put away for a van. All right, so we got three seventy five. And we're gonna do that five days a week. Uh, we're not working weekends. So with that, you bring it home, and you'll, he he making you uh, eighteen hundred dollars and seventy five cents. So you, that's that's how much that that sub makes you per week. Uh, if you put him out there in the van, let him run out there and run uh, three uh, uh, run uh, run five stops a day. You pay him fifty dollars per day. You he make it eighteen seventy five. So sometimes, um, sometimes uh, I have to hear this a lot. People say, "Well, you making the money? Uh, he ain't making no money." So let's just see what he makes. If uh, you paying him two fifty per day times five, he's making twelve fifty. <laughs> he's making twelve fifty uh, per uh, per week. Uh, that's the average household don't make for a thousand dollars. That's the household. So he's making six. Uh, Twelve fifty a week, bring home, and he get all of his cash. It ain't because he you go teach him to, to go out and uh, and start a LLC and be a ten ninety nine. He get to have all his cash, and then from there we're gonna what you multiply that times fifty two. It's fifty two weeks in a year, so he's make you paying him seventy five thousand per year. I mean sixty five thousand per year, which is great for uh, uh, especially a young tech, uh, somebody in their uh, uh, early twenties. And, and the 30s, um, most of my techs, at, um, when they, they average about 75, 80. But for a young guy in the early 20s, 65,000 is a lot of money, especially when you're getting all of that 65,000. It ain't like you get a W-2 and the government taking 30 and you only uh, you only bring home 40 some thousand. You bring home 65,000, um, which is which is great. So uh, that's equivalent to somebody making 80,000. So uh, so he makes 65,000. Uh, so we'll go back to what he's making you. So you getting uh, how much did we say you, you were getting? You getting the six twenty five minus is two fifty. You getting three seventy five times five. You getting eighteen seventy five per uh, week. We multiply that times fifty two. That's ninety seven thousand and five hundred. So now you you making ninety seven thousand and five hundred. Now you take that seventy five hundred that you have there, you pour three thousand off uh, for you to, to you know you have to purchase a van every so often and stuff and other little uh, uh, stuff that you need to, to keep the business running. You pocket ninety thousand, and all you have to do is just uh, wake up in the morning, uh, use your CRM, set up their routes, and then the the calls that they ran the day before. All you do is order the parts and bill out. It takes it take you an hour and a half, two hours. This hour I was able to have that, uh, what they call the four hour work week or whatever. That's how I was able to do it for a long time. You know, I get up in the morning, everything's automated. I just set up my, uh, my, my call list and uh, if you buy the book or you, uh, uh, you buy the book and I tell you how, to, uh, how I actually set up my stuff to automate it. If you buy the course, I teach you how to automate. You, you set up your uh, call list, it makes the phone calls, uh, from there, people go online and schedule. You look at the work. All you got is uh, five, five stops. So it don't, it don't take you 10, 15 minutes to order the parts. You order the five stops. Uh, you go there and do the five stops they done the day before. And you email, uh, not email, but you ship the parts to the customer house. And, and you're done. You're done by, uh, I, get, I get going at, uh, I wake up around 5, 5.30, 6 o'clock in the morning, um, 8.30, 9 o'clock, I'm done. Um, I, I got the rest of the day to uh, to come out here, and as my dad would say, pill around. I come out here and pill around. Today I got to go set with my mentor, um, Mr. Eaton. He hasn't been feeling that well. I hope he, uh, y'all help me pray for him. Hope he do better. Um, but I went to go set with him um, all day today. Uh, from there, I came back. 
I met my uh met the guy who was doing my when I got a haircut after I got a haircut I um I thought my wife was gonna meet me for dinner she said she didn't have time it was raining she didn't want to come out in the rain I went and grabbed some dinner sat there and talked I met my civil engineer back uh, that was doing my plans met him here and then I got ready for the show that's it and uh and then tomorrow I wake up and I I work another uh. Uh, hour and a half or a, a half an hour to an hour and a half that's it and that's all you have to do and you can make uh you can make that that amount of money now just think that's what one sub so uh, uh i bring in two subs i make it two hundred thousand a lot of times um i i ran between two and uh, and four subs so uh if i do that uh that 95 and uh let's see here and I, I times it times two again. Yeah, that's that's a lot of times where I where I stood at. And that's why I was able to to pay cash for my wife and them to go to school, pay cash for my, my cars and all that. See that that's the stuff that uh when uh that I was hoping that uh, uh they they would actually be able to let me tell those guys and tell those people, this is how you do it. It's not nothing hard. It's not no rocket science. And you all know repairing appliances ain't hard. Uh, it, it's not nothing hard to do. I can teach you in the weekend how to do it. Uh, training subs is not hard. Uh, uh, I'll tell somebody asking me, uh, call me earlier this week, was asking me uh, uh, about the subs. I was like, yeah, uh, like like Tony was saying, most people uh, don't bring home no more than five hundred dollars a week <laughs> if they work in a job. So what uh what I would tell them, uh like somebody called me uh earlier this week, I forget who it was. I think it was um this uh I can't remember. I know I I, I can't remember who it was. But anyway, uh they, they called me earlier this week, they looking to go get a sub and I was telling them um a great place that I grabbed someone from was from um uh, two places. I bought them I, I got them from like the Jiffy food and also I would look and see people who used to flip appliances on um on Craigslist. So somebody who was flipping, flipping appliances, washers, and dryers on Craigslist, I will actually go on their uh, on their listing and I'll see the, the type of appliances they fix in and kind of say, okay, I see this guy, he can fix appliances, uh, um, and he's selling them, flipping them, and I'll call and act like I'm interested and go there and look at a washer and stuff. And while I'm looking at it, I'm, I'm seeing, checking out and talking to him, seeing what he knows, and then from there, I offer him a, a job because, you know, you make more money repairing appliances than you do flipping them. So I, I like to get them there. So I was telling them, I said, when you go get this, uh, and he was like, well, how am I going to uh, pay the guy starting off? I was like, he only going to be able to do, you got to do him the same way. You got to do them one or two stops when you uh, train them to serve. You bring them in, have them do one or two stops. Um, and you're going to only start off paying them about $20, $25 per, per stop. Uh, right now, he's not going to be able to do enough stops to make a, to earn a living. So what you do, you give him a base pay. You say, okay, starting off, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to give you $25 per stop, but I'm going to give you a base pay of $100 per day. Or you can even say uh, $120 per day. So what you tell him, um, I'm going to make sure you at least make $500 a week, or you're going to make at least six, uh, $600 a week if you give him $120. Uh, so that gets them through that actual uh, learning stage where they're not they're not starving for money. You you you're saying okay uh, for about for about maybe two to three weeks they're gonna only be able to do one or two stops. And if you were paying them uh, per stop, they're only gonna make about um, about if you starting them off at about twenty twenty five dollars per stop, they're only gonna be able to make uh, uh, make what's it called? Uh, they're gonna uh, twenty dollars or forty dollars a day. They can't live for that. So I start them off at twenty five dollars per stop, and then from there, um, as they start to increase, and I increase their uh, increase their actual uh, call. Once they get to about five calls per day, um, I let them run there. So now instead of them making um, making the uh, uh, hundred dollars per day, now they're making about one twenty five, one thirty per day, because um, they're now doing five stops. And then from there, I boosted up five dollars. So about every six months, I give them a five dollar hit. So now instead of you making uh twenty five dollars, now you're making thirty dollars. 
and they did man thirty dollars you extra you know you 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 somebody now making an extra twenty five dollars a day uh it ain't much for us but for them that's that's uh that's that's a lot of money <laughs> that they they're they're getting and uh and then you went to call then in six months as he started uh you feel like he, he he's he's losing interest and you might leave hit him with another five so um, you keep hitting them with five every six months boosting them up until you get them at about fifty dollars between fifty and sixty dollars fifty dollars about where i want to stand so I can, after they get about fifty or sixty dollars it takes them a couple of years to get there um uh, but once they there um usually that's when you start having problems <laughs> now they know how much money they can make they know what they can earn they know the business they're doing a lot more business on their side usually it's about time for them to go so and when they when they slide off i go back and grab me another I'm not mad when um, a guy who's making fifty, sixty dollars will stop me, uh, because um, I'd much rather bring that twenty-five dollar one back in and ride them back up and deal, and I can manage the actual um, mistakes and stuff that they have and ride them on back up till I get back to fifty dollars. Then you get to fifty, sixty dollars, then it's time for them to leave again. And it's kind of like it's kind of like cattle. You know, when you go get cattle, uh, you know, you you get a young heifer. And you breed it and breed it, and she she giving you all of these uh, calves and stuff. But after a while, you know it's time to send that one off the market and slaughter it, and bring you another one in that's very fertile and keep keep your stock up. Well, that's the same thing with techs. I get them and ride them, ride them, ride them. Then once they get to a point where they're making a lot of money and stuff, I'd much rather bring them back in at a, a, a lower rate and ride them back up because uh, I'm not somebody who's trying to be a master tech. Now, I don't care if they, uh, I don't want them out there. Uh, I'm not having no techs out there doing sales systems and all that stuff. I want to get the low hanging fruit that we can actually get money on and keep them moving. The, uh, the high end stuff and, and the big dollar stuff, I'll go out there now and do one or two of them, but now I don't even really care about doing that. But I can just keep the stuff that I know we're going to make the most money to and keep them moving so I got a bigger profit off of them. Uh, I guess it's kind of like baseball playing money ball or whatever they call it. But you don't need to have the best baseball players out there. You want to get the best for your dollar. And uh, so that's that's kind of what you do with the best. Um, so I'm not basketball with the technicians and stuff. Um, so, but that's, that's all it is. It's just that simple. And you just, all you do is just monitor the process and, and get them going. And you'll get good at training people. Um, like, like myself, uh, I, I would count you all. I have trained thousands. <laughs> of people how to uh, repair their appliance, make a uh, start an appliance repair business to get out there and make money. Uh, so, uh, and you'll be able to do it too. You all have trained people. Uh, uh, you all have went out there and showed people how to start this business. So it's pretty easy. It's pretty easy. I'm going to read some of the stuff that's going on in the chat. Uh, uh, Clay Hardy. Hello again, everyone. Happy holidays. I'm interested. Okay. All right. Um, like I said, right now, uh, we have... We have uh, monthly payments. You can do $199. That gets you uh, the appliance boot camp, everything online. You get the uh, blender. The, you get the garage door, the driveway cleaning, the appliance boot camp, and you get the ice cream pop. Um, and, and if you pay the, uh, the 90 day special, um, which is uh, uh, $500, all you're going to get is just the uh, uh, um, appliance boot camp online. And if you want to come to the hands on live event, same thing is open again, hands on live. If anybody who bought the online and um, you have done at least uh, 20 service calls and you want to come, um, you, um, you're more than welcome to come to this one on the 20th. Um, so I'd love to see you here. And same thing, if, um, if you want to come to the ice cream parlor, um, you bought the online or you bought the, uh, you bought the uh, uh, hands on live, you and whoever you like to bring to the ice cream parlor are free to come. The ice cream parlor, like I say, it, it includes you, uh, your family, or whoever's going to be working with you in the ice cream bar. So, uh, Frank Evans, let's get the, those likes up. Yeah, please do, man. I really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Um, Quentin Hodge. Hey, Mike and ABC fam. Hey, how you doing? How you doing, um, Quentin? All right. Uh, 89, Dr. Funk. What up, family? Hey, how you doing, 89, Dr. Funk? Yeah, like I say, if you, um, if you get a chance, go over to Tone Talks and, um, and, uh, and, uh, and and I put a let me see if I put the link to the actual video in here. And what you do, just make a comment if you uh if, if you listen to it, uh make a comment and uh and and just tell them how you done with appliance repairs. Um, 
So they don't think that uh, they don't think that we what they call capping. They won't think that we out here uh, as they say capping. Uh, you can just go there and uh, tell them uh, how how you done. Um, let me make sure. Oh, he's a mater. <laughs> okay. Uh, he made, did he make it private? Let me see. Did he make it private? Uh, I think he might have made it quite private. I think. Yeah, he is. He made it private. Well, that that goes for that. <laughs> so he made it private. Uh, but him and I had a, a slight uh, slight uh, debate about it. Like he's made that video probably maybe he'll, maybe he'll uh, make it public later or he'll cut it up. Uh, I think he'll cut it up because we're getting a lot of discussion of, about it. Uh, but uh, yeah, so uh, it's easy. And I, I talk many people. That's, what, that's the thing too. Uh, I'll, I'll have a discussion with uh, with the people here. Tell them because they're saying all you can, there was like the only thing that people can do here is work at McDonald's. And I was like, no, who say you got to work at McDonald's? McDonald's is not from uh, to raise no family off of that's something for uh, young young kids and and uh, senior citizens to work. It's not for and college kids and stuff to work. Or somebody who's in the process of getting ready to get a franchise, they work in there to learn. But there's nowhere where you go there and try to raise no family off of. And uh, and they didn't. I, I couldn't get them to see that you could actually. Uh, you, you need to aspire to do more. Put more in your tool, but no. Anthony Bolton, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, Aloha, Applause Repair. Uh, hey, how you doing? All right. Um, what's going on, Kirk? Uh, what's up? Good to see you, man. Uh, hey, what's going on? I'll oh, tell you, can't go. Hey, Uncle Mike. Hey, folks. Hey, how you doing? Uh, Kirk says, uh, what's up, ABC? And Mike, hey, how you doing? Hey, what's going on? Uh, Agenda Young. Uh, ABC, what's happening? What's up, Mike? All right. Uh, what's up, uh, Uh, what's up, uh, my app? Uh, say, uh, what's up? Hey, Uncle Mike, ABC fam. Hey, how you doing? Mike, Mike, uh, 90k without leaving home. How? Yeah, that's how you do it. Uh, just get you, uh, get you one sub and let them, uh, go out there and, uh, and run service calls for you. over 15 years. That's how, that's how I've been doing and making my money and making my money. Uh, Paul Brown, what's up, Mike and ABC family? Hey, how you doing, Paul Brown? <laughs> 89 Dr. Funk say he ordered a book Sunday and it's arriving by horse and buggy. Yeah, I was actually surprised. Mine actually showed up, but this is the one that got the little band not for sale. This is after author's co uh, copy. But I was surprised it showed up as fast as it did. Um, uh, but it, 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 it's there. They gave me four of them. Um, and um so but uh i think so other people might might have gotten theirs i don't know uh they networked in uh anthony bowden said he ready for this thanks thanks uh do you have to train the tech uh yeah you're gonna have to train the tech <laughs> you gotta train them uh but that you start off you uh you you take the appliance boot camp you learn how to repair the appliances yourself and then you you, you train your own tech uh otherwise you're gonna have to steal one from somebody and you uh and and um something like that, but you have to train them. Thanks, uh, uh Steve pa Padella. Uh, so he got the book uh, too. Uh, thanks. Uh, I appreciate you buying it. I appreciate everybody who went out and bought the book. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, Tyran TV. What's up, Mike and ABC fam? These dishwashers still rolling. <laughs> yeah, I'm I laughing. I saw y'all. Uh, somebody said they just started to wash the dishes from Thanksgiving. Getting ready for Christmas. <laughs> yeah, the, the, um, we, we, we've been booked for, um, uh, we've been booked for, uh, I think now we're going out towards the beginning of the year. We booked, we can't get you in before Christmas. Uh, so it, it, we, we're in the new year. Ryan Garrett, hey Mike, do you pay for the gas or do you give yourselves a limit? Thanks. No, I don't pay for the gas. I give them the van. Uh, so I'll go to the state surplus and I'll buy them a van. And then from there, uh, I, I would just go about once every other month, and I change the brake pads on them because uh, they ain't gonna call you about the brake pads until, until there ain't no brakes. Uh, but just uh, every, find out about how often the brakes are wearing out on them. You just go change the brake pads. But uh, I I, didn't, I used to let them take the vehicles home because I didn't care. And plus, 
Um, you're going to get to a point where you have too many vehicles. Like right now, I got vehicles everywhere. And so um, I didn't want no more, more vehicles around. So I want them to take it home. It has my logo on it. And I want them driving around. But they use my vehicle to do their own personal service calls and stuff. I didn't care. Is it better to hire experienced techs? Uh, Mike, Mike. Um, you can, uh, uh, you know, but you're going to be paying a, a more a, a, a higher rate for them. Um, I like to get them in young and, uh, and, and ride and ride wave up. Um, you can hire experienced tech, but just get them in young and ride that wave up. And then this is the great thing, too. Uh, this is the thing that I started doing um, later on. Uh, when one of them got going good and I know it's about time for them to leave, I'll just take the sub and, and put it in with one of my uh, with one of the, with the experienced tech and let them ride with the experienced tech for about two weeks. And so now you don't even have to get in the van and train them. The, the guy who's getting ready to leave will actually train them. Right. Okay, they, the books are getting there. Uh, Paul Brown said he received his book yesterday. Thanks, man. Like I say, uh, if you would, uh, go over and uh, uh, sign up. Uh, uh, not sign up, but go over there and give a review after you finish reading, if you don't mind. Um, Mike, Mike, is there a Facebook group? Yes, the Facebook group is Appliance Boot Camp. It's three separate words. If you go in, we'll let you in. Um, and, uh, and, and you, you can get in and you can, you can, uh, ping on some of the, uh, some of the alumni, uh, just ask anybody, you know, how did they feel that the course worked for them? BCNF, what's going on, Mike and ABC fam? Hey, how you doing? Uh, ZB167, hey, brother Mike, how that database come along with the appliance manual and, uh, tech sheets, uh, through ABC? Uh, I got, I got the actual hard drive actually up and running. Uh, so with that, uh, I'm reaching out. We have uh, two guys that's going to help me with the actual website. Um, we talked Monday. We talked on Monday. Um, I haven't got back with them and gave them a design yet. I was trying to get back into, we had this place where we used to get uh, uh, service manuals and stuff from. Uh, it was called Service Tech Help. I was seeing if I can get back in there because I really like their format. Their format was real easy uh, and very user-friendly. So I'll see if I can get back into that uh, first and see if they, I can show them that and they can mimic it. Uh, so uh, we got it coming, and that won't be another year uh, with us doing that. But like I say, I'm on, I'm on Santa Claus mode. Uh, Greg B., what's happening, ABC family? Uh, Mike, hey, how you doing, Greg? Okay, DCNF said his book arrived Saturday. Okay, thanks. Okay, ZB, uh, so her book, uh, uh, my book, uh, arrived uh, today. Okay, thanks, thanks. Okay, uh, Anthony Bolton. Uh, I saw the title and I was intrigued because I'm currently disabled. But as you can imagine, disability doesn't pay as well as I would like. Um, would your uh, would your course suit you? Yes, it would. Yes, it would. Um, um, there's plenty of things that you can do. Um, I don't know that. Uh, I don't know the the actual disability that you have, um, but we we have we have someone that uh, I don't I, I don't know if, if it's a whole disability, um, but I know uh, I've seen um, one of the guys his father is in a wheelchair, and I've seen him actually working in the shop making repairs. Uh, but you can actually uh, you can actually uh, know how to make the repairs and actually use somebody else to go out there and do the repairs for you. With the technology that we have today, with the cell phones and stuff, it'll be just like you actually there. You have them go there uh, with the cell phone and camera, y'all work together, and then once they get trained, all you do is the back-end office work. Uh, so, uh, yeah, you can definitely run this um, and you do the back-end office work. I don't know the extent of your disability, uh, but, yes, you can um, be disabled and do this. And that was another thing, too. I talked to a a friend earlier this week, um, they were they were uh, trying to get on disability, and they were kind of uh, they were kind of didn't want to do the appliance boot camp because they thought they were gonna mess up their disability. But uh, I, most people I know who get on disability ain't enough to sustain. Uh, and I don't think that I don't think owning a business uh, actually messes with your actual disability. I don't think. Uh, I told them to check into it because. What's happened, um, the business has its own entity. It has its own EIN and all that. Um, so you're not getting no earned income. 
Uh, so, um, so I don't think that I don't think I don't think this messes with your disability owning a business. Okay, DCNF. Uh, DCNF said I have my tech that has been with me two and a half years as my trainer. Trained the trainer with the army. <laughs> there you go. Yep, yep. There you go. There you go. Way to go, DCNF. Yep. Uh, there you go, Ranger Young. Uh, yep, I like that DCNF. Yep. Uh, uh, yep. That, that, that's a, that's a great way. Uh, you train the trainer. Uh, you train somebody who's gonna do all your training. And like I said, once I've done that, it was it was it was gravy. It was gravy. And like I said, I I lived this life. <laughs> I, I I was thinking about that um, when I was driving back from seeing um seeing um Mr. Eden. Um, uh, I was thinking, I, I've, I've, I've lived a great life to be able to do what I do. Um, uh, especially like last night, my, my daughter, uh, my, I had to pay tuition, tuition was due for my daughter. Um, uh, 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 and for her to say, Hey dad, you know, tuition's due. And, and, um, uh, and uh, she told me yesterday, Hey, uh, tuition is due, uh, uh, today, the 15th. So I was like, okay, um, let me go by the bank. So what happened, uh, if you're going to make a purchase uh, over, I, I think if you got to do a purchase over 3000 or something with the debit card, you have to go to the bank and let them know or else they'll block it. So I, I said, let me go to the bank. Um, I go to the bank and um, I let the bank know, hey, I'm going to uh, make a, uh, I got to pay for my daughter's tuition. Uh, and, uh, um, tonight, and I need to up my limits. And what they'll do, they'll say, okay, We'll open it for uh, 48 hours, uh, make the payment, and then we'll close it back down so you can't get nothing. Come in and wipe out all your bank money and stuff. Uh, so that's that's what we've done. Uh, I, I go there and uh, I tell uh, I tell them to open it up. They uh, they they make the payment on it, and then uh, she makes the payment. And if they email me and say, "Hey, it's paid in full." That's a great feeling. That's a great feeling where you don't have to worry about how your kids and stuff gonna be able to make. Uh, go to college and all that. You just pay it and 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 and, and they go. And uh, that that's a great feeling. And the same thing today. Uh, the architect, not the architect, but the civil engineer, um, uh, called me and said uh, uh, he was he was nearby and he uh, he wanted to know if he stop in and get his check. And I was like, yeah, no problem. And I, I already had it. <laughs> I already had got him a certified check. I had it set here and for him to come and, and no because i know when you are in the skilled trades and it's thursday you gotta make payroll and for tomorrow and you need your money i, I know those feelings and somebody say hey no nah, i ain't got it so i, I and you, you come around on on friday uh you know trying to get he probably giving out bonuses too uh, so you coming around on friday uh, on thursday night uh before payroll and stuff uh, especially a week before christmas and you, uh, you, uh, you want to what you call? You want to uh, probably bless some people, and you, you, you grab your checks, and somebody say, "No, nah, come back." That's the, that makes you mad. So I, I know that feeling. So I had his check ready for him, just to know that you can pay all of that, and you see stuff moving. And and the, the good thing about it, uh, I, I, I see it just replenishing itself. Uh, so you, I make those payments and stuff, and then I, I, I starting to see those, uh, those uh, direct deposits coming from third party warranty companies. Direct deposits coming from actual uh, 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 home third uh, third party warranty company. Uh, come here, I have to be careful. I just somebody uh, got checks waiting here. Got cash. Uh, one of my uh, my nephew came by the other day, picked some up, and I just got back and I looked. I had checks and cash sitting here. Um, so all that stuff feels good. And you can just dump it all all right back in there. Um, it just it just feels good to be able to do that um, and, and not have that worry. And I can teach anybody how to do it. So um, teach anybody how to do it. It's nothing hard. Um, Don, uh, Donnie Mad, uh, Mad, what's up, uh, fam? Hey, how you doing, Don, uh, Donnie? Um, thanks, Anthony Bolton. Uh, say he's buying the book as we speak. Thanks, thanks. I really appreciate it. Um, Edward Kinsey, what's good, Mike? Uh, what's good, Mr. Mike and ABC fam? Hey, how you doing? All right. But yeah, uh, so yeah, you can you can do it. Uh, we have a, a young man who hearing impaired, um, and he he's doing uh, 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 he he's doing he's doing well at it. Uh, doing doing very well. Uh, from time to time, he uh, he has a guy to go with him, kind of translate. 
and uh, and uh, they call me. I'm very proud of them. Everybody's doing well. Uh, I, I just I just can't uh, just can't complain. Everybody's doing well. Uh, even Slick stopped through here. Uh, what day was it? Uh, it was either Monday or Tuesday. I think it was Tuesday. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. It was Tuesday. Slick stopped through here on Tuesday. Uh, it was funny. Uh, I got a, I got a request uh, for us to come out at, to the school. Um, the elementary school was having their uh, book fair, and they were having uh, their Christmas uh, concert. And uh, they, they sent me, the school sent me an email early that morning and said they had forgot and asked me, could I come out there and uh, and serve ice cream? I told them, yes, I, I would. So uh, uh, Slick was here when I was getting uh, brushing getting stuff ready to head out to the school. Uh, but yeah, that, that's the stuff that uh, that, uh, I, uh, that I love to do. And I like to say, all of that came through appliance repair. All of that came through appliance repair. Uh, everything. Uh, everything I, I, I got came through this appliance repair business. And just uh, something as simple as that was able, uh, I, I'm, I'm, something as simple as uh, appliance repair, I'm able to uh, call in to uh, 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 somebody uh, a whole lot bigger than I am as far as uh, um, ordinance appeal and stuff. And people think that you are unicorn. <laughs> you, you must have got a lot of inheritance and stuff. Uh, you hit the lottery uh, from a plot repair when you just tell people, no, the simple stuff. You know, I was able to pay cash for this, pay cash for that. Uh, I didn't tell them all the stuff. I told them, hey, uh, I pay cash for houses, pay cash for land. I didn't get a chance to get into all of that. Uh, but to the point where they, they just think you, you're doing some type of magic stuff. And it's very simple stuff. Uh, like I'm telling people um, with this uh, uh, with the, the land and stuff I buy, the houses, stuff, they only have a couple of thousand dollars that I buy these things for. And uh, when, I, when, I buy these, when I buy these things, people don't think they're any good. Uh, nobody, uh, nobody thought that this building right here uh, was worth anything. Nobody. Nobody thought it was worth anything. Um, but now it, everybody thinks... It was worth a lot. Nobody thought the houses were worth anything, um, and everybody thinks it's worth a lot. Uh, no, like I say, even even building out that little um, ice cream uh, container thing. I got, I heard back. Oh yeah, I heard back from the actual uh, from the uh, what you call from the actual uh, uh, they going uh, uh, committee. Uh, they just want me to make some a couple of changes to the site plan. Um, mainly, uh, mainly just wording um, on the site plan, and it ain't nothing major. Uh, so uh, he need to change some words on the site plan. Just let him know that I got a, uh, I got, I got a, I got a. I saw one of the things I have to hide. The actual, let, let, we can look at it together. Uh, me telling you all this stuff, uh, it doesn't uh, doesn't mean anything. Let me see here. Uh, Uh, yeah, so uh, what I'm doing here, I'm just uh, I'm just looking at uh, the, the wholesaler send me uh, send me actual uh, 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 wholesalers. They just sent me one. <laughs> I was taking a look there, uh, but let's take a look and uh, and see what uh, what they, they told me, and we'll look at it together. Uh, uh, they, uh, what they sent me. Okay, we'll look at this right here together. Uh, let me. Y'all have some good eyes, so um, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna take it take this by itself. But y'all be looking at too much stuff and, and whatnot. So we're gonna read this together. Let's see what they see what they have. What they told me I need need to do. Because one thing for me to just talk about it. It's another thing we do it together. Because I'm actually learning this as we speak too. Um, let's see if I can make this bigger for us. Okay, that's good. All right. Uh, so the, here we go with my ice cream. This is the review. And this is stuff they told me. Uh, they want me to add the landscaper on there uh, for the actual site plan. 
uh, right here. Uh, they say my H. They got to add a note. All HVAC and mechanical equipment must be screened from view along the entire length of the public right away. So that nobody wants to be able to see my HVAC units and stuff. So they got to write that on the plan. Uh, update the flood note. Uh, this uh, site is located in Zone X, Perf, whatever. This they got to do all of that stuff. Um, change the address. The address. I guess they, one place they had the address wrong. Um, right here, uh, he got uh, he got to contact this guy to get the water and sewer connection where they're going to connect that. Um, uh, right here. Um, please use CRM details for the dumpster uh, so he knows what that is. So just little uh, erosion control. Yeah, that's another thing too. Uh, if uh, I found out if you're doing something. Um, there's more than a half an acre and stuff, and you're gonna be putting doing some work. You got to do erosion control, and you also have to uh, also have to do. Uh, let me see if I can find uh, uh, environmental. Uh, uh, this is stuff that they just asking, you know, simple stuff. Uh, let me find it. Uh, is that it? No, it ain't. And that is it. But if you, you got something over a certain amount, not only do you have to do, uh, um, let me find it. Uh, crap. I don't see it. But uh, if something over half an acre, you got to do the environmental uh, thing to make sure that you, you show that the environmental impact that it's going to have when you have it being there and stuff. So there's a lot of stuff. When you start like, trying to uh, move large, large pieces of land and do stuff, you got to look at the, uh, the uh, storm drain and all that stuff. When you start moving, uh, moving actual, uh, uh, developing actual sites and stuff. So I'm actually getting to see this stuff. So uh, that right there, when I when I start reading that, and uh, uh, it, it, uh, it it what's it called? It uh, it made me think. Dang, go on now. If I, if I if I go out here and I buy uh, 10, 12, 13 acres of land and it's totally wooded. <laughs> it's not that it's cleared off. Now I got to go through, the, I got to start doing all of this other stuff too. So making me kind of think, do I need to look at something that already has something, uh, some acreage already clear for me to put a building and stuff um, with the farm and whatnot. But uh, yeah, so this stuff that I wouldn't know until I actually got involved, but nobody never told me that. Uh, when you get something and you got to start taking trees and all that stuff off, you got to now do uh, 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 erosion control. You got to do you got to do uh, actual uh, uh, environmental um, impact. You got to do all of that other stuff. All right. I'm gonna read a couple more. Then we're gonna get ready to get out of here. And that's the stuff I want to bring y'all along, where we're just not talking. We're learning as we go, and it's good. It's good. Uh, and I haven't had anybody to tell me that. Uh, 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 say, hey, look out! When you you're going to clear off that much land, you might have some problems. Uh, they networking, uh, networking. Uh, okay, uh, Rock Rogers. About how much do you need to get started? Uh, to start a appliance repair business, you can start it for less than. Uh, you need a the register your LLC uh, here in North Carolina. That's 125. Um, you need about maybe 200 dollars worth of tools. Um, you need to get your insurance for less than five hundred dollars. Uh, you 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 be you have everything you need to get. Up. But you, if you don't know the skill, now you need to get somebody to teach you how to repair. Uh, with us, um, we we have you can take our course. We have uh, as little as one ninety nine a month, and uh, we'll teach you how to uh, uh, teach you in a weekend how to actually teach how to actually repair appliances and start your business. It's just a weekend course. So, and you you get out there and start making your money. By the time your next payment comes, you got your uh, you got your money. Uh, C Gator applies. And, hey, Mike, and ABC fan. Hey, how you doing? Uh, Greg B. Uh, so I met a guy at the parts house today that does appliance repair. The way he told me he get job shocking. He said he just hang around at the parts house and stop people and ask them. Uh, uh, <laughs> Ask him to repair. He's he doing the Home Depot. 
Wait, just uh, an old depot, just just hang your tools and, uh, and hang around the electrical partners. I, I got many jobs like that, and uh, going to Home Depot and Lowe's. I'm going there to buy buy some um, tools, some equipment, to uh, some parts and stuff to go do a repair. While I'm, I got my uniform and stuff on, <laughs> and while I'm there, somebody asked me, uh, uh, "You know what I need for this right here?" They, they, I, I said, "What you doing?" Then I start helping them. And before I know, I, they got my name and number, and I'm going out there to do the job for them. But I, he, 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 he owned it something because I got plenty of work uh, in the, on the aisles of Home Depot and Lowe's. Plenty of work. Uh, Greg B, I was like, damn, <laughs> ain't no excuse that serious. Uh, ain't no use. <laughs> ain't no excuse. That's a serious grind he does. Yep, it is. It's, it's, it's not, that, see, that's the thing I was saying, too, um, with... Um, <laughs> That's funny. That's the thing, too, I was saying in regards to uh, uh, the discussion I was having earlier with the people here. So, ain't no excuse for you not to be able to make no money nowadays. And same thing um, with uh, with uh, with Tone talking there. There ain't no excuse for you, to, you know, to, to be that crime. You can't buy a car. <laughs> you can buy a car for uh, three, four thousand. You can't buy a new car if that's what you're looking for. Nah, like I told them, I ain't going to buy my kids no brand new car. Um, their cars are 2011. I I'm gonna buy a, 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 a buy my a, buy my daughter a brand new car. She just learning how to drive, and she go to the gas station and and she turns too sharp and, and, and side swipes the the, you know, the the yellow thing on the side. It don't matter. It, 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 it's a it's a it's a six seven thousand dollar car. <laughs> she uh, she one time she pulled up too close and, and hit something and bent the front. It don't matter, six, seven thousand dollar car. She's embarrassed and scared, but she calls daddy. Uh, daddy, I, I have a, a problem. What happened? I don't know. Somebody hit the front. I go, you, you hit something. Yeah, I did. What you hit? I hit the, uh, I hit the pole it right there. No problem. <laughs> Take the heat gun, <laughs> heat it up, pull it out, and, and buff it out. And, hey, keep going. But I ain't gonna go buy a brand new car for her to do that. And, and it says you buy a dependable car to get them through school uh, and, and get them through college. And then when they get out on their own, if they want to go buy a Hellcat or something like that, that's on them. But you just giving them something to keep me from having to go pick them up from basketball and taking them to taking them to after school stuff. They do it on their own, and I don't care if it gets scratched the deal. And you want something to be cheap on insurance. Okay, there you go. Uh, these enough. My tag uh, just received. A five-star review customer service is key, no doubt, no doubt. Uh, Thompson Appliance, the parts house is a good place to connect. Yeah, <laughs> uh, see, like a lot of people do. I don't go to the parts house much now with uh, me ordering everything online. I don't go to the parts house much now. Um, so yeah, uh, see, like that's a, that's the place to catch him. Uh, what, what we used to call that back in the days when we uh, I didn't pay to go in the nightclub. But we'll just uh, go to the parking lot, park a lot pimping. You know, just, just hang out uh, in the, uh, get there in the parking lot, parking lot pimping. Uh, we get there in the parking lot right in the club, lay out, and then, then shoot the shot. So I guess he's he doing some parking lot pimping out there in the parts house. <laughs> uh, Rock Rogers. Okay, that's what's up. Um, what part of North Carolina are you in? I'm in Selma, North Carolina. I'm in Johnston County, Selma, North Carolina. Uh, uh, Thompson Applause. An old guy who have um, who have had his own business since '95 told me I was too cheap. <laughs> probably, probably is. Uh, probably is. Uh, close to four hundred dollars. Okay, okay. Uh, Greg B. Say I stayed at the part house. They'd be like, "Hey, Greg." You back again picking up? <laughs> yeah, you must be. You must live uh, really close to uh, a parts house, or it's, it's not that hard to get to. Um, uh, we have one. Uh, I, I haven't. I, I go there. I go there very often. Very seldom do I go there now uh, to the parts house. Um, but I, I remember. I remember back in the days before you had online ordering and stuff like that. Uh, you, I used to make two or three trips to that park house. Matter of fact, I had my own little shelf that uh, they used to put all my stuff in. 
Uh, yeah, he said people will pay real good money for Yeah, they will. Yeah, they definitely will. You know, and it, it's crazy. Like I tell you all, I'm trying trying to get out. Uh, and my nephew's taking over. Not because I don't like the business. I love the business. But I guess uh, I got to spend more time with my son and uh, more time with uh, Appliance Boot Camp. Uh, so I, next year, that's why a lot of the stuff we're doing next year with the online manuals and all that stuff, um, I got to put more time there. Uh, so my nephew's taking over the, uh, 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 the Appliance Repair business. Uh, but uh uh, I'm trying to get out, and people are still just calling and calling and calling to the point um, they know my phone number, and they they call my personal phone, or uh, here they just walk they walk to the front, so I have the front door closed and I have the light off, but in the back right here is glass, so <laughs> I'll be here uh, trying to shoot a video or or trying to take care of some business, and I look and somebody's knocking on the glass, <laughs> and they know and they know what time I get here. That's the other thing too. They know uh, they know I'm here. Uh, uh, I'm here uh, uh, eight from eight to about nine. They know that I'm here, and they come here real early. Oh wow! Good lord, y'all repairing that many appliances, Greg? Greg said uh, they got like six part houses in DFW, and he's always fifteen and twenty minutes away from one of them. Wow! I didn't know y'all had that many out there. Uh, we only have two um, here in Raleigh. In the Raleigh area, we have two. They networking. Um, uh, hey, now Dr. Funk. Man, you guys lucky. The only parts house I have is repair clinic. And I pay full retail. Man, and they trying to can't believe that. I use them for warranty if I'm in a hurry. I order my stuff online. Okay. I didn't know. It's like these truck would have more than that. Wow. Can't believe that. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, Greg said he got his own box that reliable in there. Yep. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, look at this. BCNL said uh, they did 23% less work and made 20% more because our average ticket price and efficiency. Yep, uh, I started doing that too. Uh, when I, when I, I, I started, once I, once I started pricing correct. I started pricing myself correct, and then start putting my um putting my routes closer and stuff, and and doing a lot more. Uh, pre, I was pre-screening calls and stuff, doing all of that stuff. Man, I found out I had a lot more free time, and I was making a whole lot more money. And uh, I really, I, man, I, I I'm telling you, appliance repair. <laughs> I keep saying it, but I, it's, I I can't express it enough. Appliance repair gave me a great life, um, to the point where. Like I said, I was able to coach uh, Little League uh, basketball for my son, my daughters, and then soccer and stuff. And you able, I was able to uh, I was one of those to go to all of the events and stuff. It was great, man. It was great. I, I, I really love it. A Flyboard 23. What's up, everyone? Are uh, anyone with First American Home Warranty? Uh, and how are they? I just got on with them. Okay. Um, when is the next class? The next class um, is going to be on January the 20th. It's going to be the 20th. Um, it's going to be January the 20th, the 21st, and 23rd. It's a three-day class. It's a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, and we, uh, we teach you everything in that weekend. Uh, Greg, but you definitely got to price correct. My goal is 300 plus profit. 300 plus profit on all jobs. Yeah, yeah. It, it, Man, this <laughs> okay. Uh, somebody said uh, 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 DCNF said First American Home Warranty is good. There you go. Uh, yeah, as it's like like uh, what Greg just put out there, three hundred plus uh, profit on all on all jobs. And just think, if you do uh, three to five stops a day, that's great money. And you get and you get all you get all your money. <laughs> It ain't, it's not like you have W-2 and they're taking taxes and stuff. You get all your money up front, able to spend your money like you want. If you uh, if you get this book right here, 475 tax deduction uh, for businesses and self-employed individuals, you're able to write off a lot of stuff. And, uh, and man, this is a great life. And then people say, well, what are you going to do about health insurance and all that? Uh, like I said, I bought mine through USA. Um, 
um, for four, and for a family, uh, a family of five. Uh, that uh, that was three kids and my wife for a family of five. It wasn't but like eight hundred dollars a month, and that's that's, that's one day's worth of work. So, so one, I day out the month and be able to pay my health insurance. Uh, here we go, uh, Greg B. Uh, Greg B. Even on the cheaper appliances or the mid to uh, look, uh, even on cheaper appliances or the mid to luxury appliances. Uh, Greg B. If you're doing refrigerator, no reasons why you can't get oh, yeah uh, profit on the job. Yep. Yep. And there you go. Uh, all appliances. Yep. Uh, hey, now that's a lot of luxury appliances. I work on. A lot of Bazino, uh, Bar I can't even pronounce them, but that's the gas ranges um, in my area. I got to work on the range here Monday. Okay, yeah, that's a fancy Italian uh, uh, range with the funny way you have to like the palette and stuff. Uh, but uh, this is good stuff, man. Good stuff. And like I say, uh, uh, you, we tell, we, we try to tell, not try to tell people this. Uh, Three years ago, the uh, the the, uh, the the actual opportunity in appliance repair, um, and now that's why I'm looking so dark. Let me turn that off. Uh, I try to tell people three years ago about the uh, appliance repair business, and nobody uh, really much believed us. And now to see everybody's having those same results and stuff, it just it just feels so good. Um, and let's see. That's, I'm gonna read this and then we're getting out of here. Uh, Flyboy23, uh, DCNF, uh, uh, at DCNF, this must be really slow right now because I'm getting a call here and there from Liberty Home Guard. But I wonder once they pick up, I might have to shut one, uh, shut one down. What do you think? Maybe, you know, right now, I don't know, right now, we, we get a lot of calls. Uh, we get a lot of calls, a lot of calls. Um, I can't get to them. Uh, it has a, this year slowed down for us. Uh, I, I, I have to be honest. I don't think it slowed down the last two two years since the pandemic. It hasn't slowed down. I actually had to slow it down since the pandemic. Uh, once you get going and you uh, you you if you get past you on probation right now. Once you get past our probation period, it it take off, especially at the beginning of the year. But it ain't slowed down since the pandemic for us. If anything slowed down, I had to slow it. Uh, you should. Uh, you're in a probation period. They would make sure you know how to process your reports and then tracking your real fixes. And how, okay, there you go. Yeah, DCNF. Yep. Yep, they don't want to overwhelm you too soon, no doubt. Um, Mike, Mike, uh, maybe I should just become the refrigerator man. <laughs> um, man, I got a lot of stuff going on. Um, Frank Evans, it's, uh, it's money in it. Uh, I do it part time and doing well. Okay, thanks, thanks. Um, okay. Uh, they networking. You asked about the parts. Uh, Greg B. Before Thanksgiving, I was doing. You were you were doing nine nine stops a day. Jesus Christ! Uh, how long? How many hours was that taking you, uh, Greg B.? Uh, I've done that before. Uh, uh, after about two days of that. Uh, I used to do that younger. I take that back. In my uh, early 30s, and when I was at Sears, I would do 10, 12. Sometimes they have 15 stops when you at Sears. Um, I, in my early 30s and stuff, I could do it. But now, if I if I do if I if I get a, if I get above about five stops a day, five is my limit. Uh, I'm a walking zombie. About how many hours were you working uh, knocking that out? And then we getting out of here. Uh, and, and man, that's 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 a nice little that's a that's a nice uh, that's a nice haul too. Uh, um, you doing like a non-stay? Uh, you a one-man shop, and you you make some money doing this stuff. Make some money doing this stuff. I, I actually, I love it. I love it. I love it. I still love it. Um, I can I can go out here. Matter of fact, I I gotta go tomorrow. Now I'm thinking about it. The guy coming to pick up checks, I can even go pick up checks. I've got a couple of repairs I've done at restaurants and stuff. I ain't been to pick up my check. Um, I got. I need to go pick it up before Santa Claus gets here. Uh, but uh, uh, once again, uh, it's getting late. I want to thank everybody for actually watching. Um, if you hadn't already, uh, there we go. 
you run about 12 hours from 8 in the morning to about 7 at night. Uh, I didn't like it, but I didn't turn nothing down. But I took <laughs> there, you go, there you go. There you go. Uh, there you go. Uh, but I took a week off after Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. That, that sounds good right then. Yeah. Again, I want to thank everybody for watching. Uh, if you hadn't already, uh, please, uh, there's a link in the description. Uh, go purchase the book, um, How to Start a Plan to Prepare Business, The Blueprint. Go purchase the book. Uh, I really appreciate it. Tell you everything you need to know how to start your own appliance repair business. Also, if you hadn't already uh, signed up for appliance boot camp, sign up. We got easy payment plan, $1.99 a month. Um, you you want to come to the Hands On Live, our next Hands On Live is going to be on the 20th. Um, please uh, sign up for the 20th. And uh, it'll be a three day course. It's a three day, uh, three day event. Teach you everything you need to know. Not only do you get the appliance um, boot camp, the hands-on, but you get the, all, all the online courses too. Um, so once again, thank you all. I think that's Anthony. What's up? Uh, let me see here. Uh, Anthony, hey, what's going on? I think uh, I think that's Ty, uh, Tyran, um, uh, Tyran's brother. Um, he, uh, thanks, man, if you bought that book, man. I really appreciate it. Uh, Tyran... Uh, you all know, you see Tyran TV in all the time, but he has been such an inspiration that he, he has his brother uh, now coming in uh, to actually start to get into a plant repair. Uh, so, uh, man, thanks, thanks for that, Anthony, man. I really appreciate it. Really do, man. I always like it when uh, whole time, but we actually classmates. Uh, we actually graduated from high school together. I really appreciate it. I love my classmates coming in. I really appreciate it. Uh, but once again, I want to... Um, uh, I, I, I want to thank everybody for everything they've done. Oh, yeah, and, and check out the uh, Appliance Boss. Uh, go check them out. You've got some good videos they just put out. Um, and uh, yeah, so thank all of y'all, and uh, we all of us need to focus, <laughs> Mike, Mike. Uh, but thank everybody, man. Uh, 2022 has been a great year. Uh, it's been all year round for us. Uh, same thing, I, if you all in the Appliance can pick, Christmas never stops for us. Uh, tax season never stops for us. It's always a great time. If you want to know how to get into this, the links are in the description. Um, uh, uh, yep, uh, Appliance Boss will be dropping the news you can use, no doubt. Um, uh, once again, uh, I'll be back on Monday. Uh, thank you all again, and uh, I'm getting out of here. Bye-bye.